Yeah, sure. Please. Hi. Um, all right. So the coastal ecosystems, that's what I'm working on. And uh, sea and oceans have been the key driver of economic development as identified by the EU and OECD. The World Bank predicts that uh, economic dependency on the marine ecosystem is somewhere around $1.5 trillion. Since the later half of 20th century, we have put some enormous pressure on this marine ecosystem, which have led to its depletion. The pressures we have built up like nutrients enrichment in the form of industrial discharge and the destruction of uh, coastal habitats and chemical pollution among few of them, which has put us at a, at a risk of an enormous uh, doomsday coming up. That's what, I, I, that's what I'd like to believe. And um, so what can we do about it? Well, since 1990, people have uh, studied this problem and they have found a relation between the industrial discharge into the waters and the effect it has on the environment. And, but I must admit it was met with limited success. There was not much to be done on that. So, so can we do anything right now? Well, the project C status was formed a year back. It's a collaboration between nine different groups from seven institutions, of which, of course, DTU Compute plays an important part. And uh, we, as a computer science researchers, what can we do about it? Well, uh, since the digital revolution started and we have enough computation power and data that we had ever before. So using all this data from the environment, can we do something about it? For my PhD project that I'm working with is, I have a lot of different source of data, like underwater videos, satellite images, um, an aerial pictography where a camera, I mean, the pictures have been taken from an aeroplane and some other online sensors and stuff. So can I, can I use this data and use some novel machine learning and AI techniques to help the biologists and the environmentalists to improve their model? So that's what I'm working on. So for example, uh, I, am be, I have been uh, analyzing the video files so far and we are, detecting a certain kind of vegetation called eelgrass, which grows on the seabed, which depicts the good health of an environment. And of course, there are many other vegetation which grows on the seabed, like algae and fungi, which has a negative impact. So using a state-of-the-art deep learning methods that we have today, we can quantify those eelgrass in, from the videos, which will serve as a ground truth for the environmentalist and the biologist to help improve their models. And, and this is just the start. And we have satellite images that we are going through. And it will also improve, uh, what you say, a certain way of looking into the problem, which was never done before due to the limitation of computation. And we are getting there. Thank you. <laughs>